It's been uh, really nice working in the theater. I mean, just that, that most of the journey of making the work is uh, an embodied experience, a very physicalized experience. I mean, this way of working, especially, we're devising a theater piece. So I think when you're building with actors and you get to be in a room playing and like, I don't know, just having fun. <laughs> it's just been really, really nice. So yeah, I feel really blessed. It has definitely made me take a, take a step back and look at film and say, why doesn't this happen more in film? You know, and why there are writer's rooms for television. And I think that's kind of the closest you get. Um, and that's also, as a director of mostly feature films, I haven't really gotten to work in that way. So this was just so special to find these languages with one another and with our bodies that feel new and, and old. <laughs> I feel like I would love to do way more of this kind of creation and I'd love to do it for film too. But I understand why it exists more in theater. Like this work I definitely think is a theater piece. It's very embodied. There's a lot of dance. It's extremely site specific. It's extremely immersive. There's a lot of interaction with the audience. So the audience will be making a lot of their own choices about like how you navigate the space, but also they'll literally choose different through lines. We realized at one point that there's like 280 ways you could see the show because there's that many if you take like this track and then this track and then this track and then this track there's usually three scenes running at once and there's five scenes but there's also a opening scene as a playwright it's also been complicated because there's no way I can ever know everything the audience will experience which is a little scary there's a thing about nurturing a work in in a space that you can control which is maybe like a normal theatrical space this is definitely a less controllable space and it's harder to control the audience too and and as i was talking about it with dan and he was like well we can't control this and we won't be able to control that and i was like but that's kind of what pregnancy is like you can't control it you can't control the environment you can't control what's going on in your body it's just going to play out how it's going to play out and like um, and really science really can't do much of anything or even intervene until really late in the pregnancy so it feels appropriate to be in an environment that's going to kind of like be speaking with us in the project.